What's going on everybody, Jason here, and today I'm gonna to be comparing the 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn versus the 2022 Ram 1500 Laramie. In this comparison, I'm gonna be talking about the different trims that you can get with the Ram 1500s. Also, I'm gonna be talking about the safety features that come standard on both of these trucks, as well as the standard exterior options, followed by your interior standard options, and then finally, what type of engines you can get with either or. I'll also be showing the window sticker for each of these trucks, as they do have some upgraded options but in this video i'm going to be talking only about the standard options that do come with this however if you do want to upgrade to some options you can get them depending on which one you choose also right before i jump into this comparison video if you enjoy these types of reviews and comparisons please be sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button because it does help out with the channel and it helps with the youtube algorithm with that being said let's jump into the comparison of the 2022 ram 1500 bighorn versus the 2022 ram 1500 laramie and see what they're all about now when it comes to the ram 1500s let's talk about the different trim levels that you can get you can either get the tradesman the bighorn sport rebel laramie longhorn or the limited depending on your budget you can choose the one that best fits it now as for the standard safety features that come with both of these trucks on the bighorn you're not going to get any standard safety features but you can get other packages that are available and will get you more safety features and you'll notice on this particular bighorn it does have your park sense front park assist with stop that's because that is a part of the package that this truck has which is the bighorn level 2 equipment group whereas on the laramie for your standard safety features you're going to get your advanced brake assist and your full speed forward collision warning but you can get other packages that are available and will get you more safety features taking a look at both of these trucks from the front with the bighorn you're going to get your chrome bumpers your chrome badging and the chrome grill surround also with the bighorns you're going to have your quad halogen headlights as well as your halogen fog lights Why while on the Laramie, typically standard, you will have your chrome bumpers front and rear, and then you also have your chrome grill along with your chrome grill surrounding, just like the Bighorn trim. The most notable difference on the Laramie is that you get your LED fog lights along with your LED reflector headlamps. And at the bottom of the bumper, this also has your front and rear park assist system, which will be a part of your Laramie Level B equipment group. Both trucks also come standard with chrome badging, and this particular Laramie does have the sports appearance package, hence why you'll see the body color front and rear bumpers along with your black grille with the body color surrounding because this laramie has the sports appearance package you're also going to get the sports performance hood which on the bighorn you cannot get this option coming over to the side of these trucks starting with the bighorn standard you're also going to get your chrome power folding side mirrors and you'll have your body color door handles like i mentioned your badging everything is all in chrome as well and as for your wheels these will be your 18 inch aluminum wheels you do have the option option of upgrading them to 20 inch and standard with both trucks you're gonna get a 3.21 rear axle ratio now with the laramie standard your side mirrors are gonna be chrome side mirrors but they're still gonna be power folding side mirrors with memory but because this laramie has the sports appearance package you will then get your body color still power folding side mirrors and as for the door handles standard they're gonna be body colored slash chrome but because of the sports appearance package they will be full body color like i mentioned in the front with the chrome badge you're gonna see it all over the exterior of this truck because even on the side your ram logo and up top the 1500 logo with the e-torque as well will be in chrome and as for these wheels on the laramie standard you're gonna get your 18 inch aluminum wheels however this particular laramie does have the upgraded 20 inch premium painted polished wheels and you also have the option of getting the 22 inch wheels as well with this laramie it also has the available option of the power running boards and the four corner air suspension which is not available on the bighorn trim something that this laramie does have and you also cannot get this option with the bighorns are the optional ram box cargo management system coming to the rear of the trucks as you see just like the front the rear also has its differences between the two on the bighorn just like the front bumper your rear bumper will be in chrome as well and over on your tailgate like i mentioned the whole badging on this truck is in full chrome you also do get just the standard tail lights you've got a hitch at the bottom and then you do have your plugs and whatnot right above that as for your hitch at the back, this is going to be a part of your Bighorn Level 2 equipment group as well. For the 2022 models on both trucks, if you take a look underneath your tailgate handle, you will have this LED light now. Also with the Bighorn, this particular truck does have the rear power sliding window, but standard, you're not going to get that on the Bighorn unless you get one of the packages. Also, when you open up the tailgate, you'll notice standard, these trucks will not have your spray and bed liner. You can, however, get it directly from the factory 
or an aftermarket one. Both of them also will not have your LED bed lighting. However, you can get that as an available option. Now, as for the Laramie, like the front, it also has the rear body color bumper, which is a part of your sports appearance package. Near the bottom, you've got your hitch in the center there. And then right above that, you've got all your wiring plugs for your trailer needs. The hitch you see on the Laramie is an available option that you can get. Otherwise, you're not gonna get a hitch at the back. And because of the front and rear park assist sensors, you've also got them built into the rear bumper. And just like the front of the Laramie, on the rear, you do have your LED tail lamps. Where on the Bighorn, they're just the standard tail lamps. You can also get the Laramie with the night edition package, which will black out all of your wheels and your badging. The Laramie also has standard, the rear power sliding window. Now, typically standard, the Laramie will not have the spray and bed liner, but as you see, this truck has it directly from the factory, and it also has a few other upgraded goodies. This particular Laramie does have the bed utility group. So on the sides, you're gonna have your four adjustable tie down cargo hooks, and then you're gonna have your LED bed lighting as well, which both of these will not come standard, but they will be with this package. Entering into the rear of the Bighorn, and as you see, you've got kind of a two-tone thing going on. With the Bighorns, you'll have vinyl bits and pieces, and up by your door handle, you'll have this gray cloth insert surrounded by this satin chrome aluminum finish and kind of that marble type of a trim, which you'll notice throughout the whole interior. Now, as for the actual seats themselves, the Bighorns only come with the cloth seats or the vinyl slash cloth seats. And this interior is your black with diesel gray, and that's because this has the bench seating up front. If you got the bucket seats, your interior would be black on black then. You'll notice on the floor, this Bighorn does have your rear in floor storage bins. Typically, you are not going to get this on the Bighorn, and that's because this truck has the Bighorn Level 2 Equipment Group. As for behind the driver and passenger seat, these are fully cloth seats like I mentioned, and you do get two map pockets for that additional storage. If you go with the standard bench seating, this is how your rear center console area will look. You'll have some space at the bottom along with your venting, some USB ports, and a 115 volt plug. Now, as you make your way to the front of the Bighorn, it's exactly like the rear. And as for the speaker system, typically standard, you're gonna get your six speakers, but you can upgrade that to the nine Alpine speaker system. As for your front seats, like I mentioned, this particular Bighorn does have the bench seating setup. So as you see, you do have a third seat in the middle there. If you go with the bucket seats, you're gonna have this nice center console area with a ton of room. Now, like I mentioned, because this Bighorn has the Bighorn level two equipment group, your front seats will become heated seats along with your heated steering wheel because typically you will not get those standard. Also, a part of the Bighorn level two equipment group, which you're not gonna get standard with the Bighorns is your power adjustable driver seat. With the level two package, you're also gonna get your power adjustable pedals, which typically you will not get. As for the center gauge cluster in your Bighorn, it will be similar to the Laramie trim because you've still got that center screen there to move things around and have a bunch of different information about your truck. Now, as for your center screen here, typically standard on a Bighorn, you're only gonna have the five inch screen, but that can be upgraded with the available options. And this system will be your new and redefined Uconnect 5 system, which is so much better. Over on the passenger side, in your glove department, it's the exact same as any Ram 1500 trim, and you do have a secondary storage compartment right above that, so you have two separate ones if you do want to use them. And here is the window sticker for the 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn. As you see, you've got your typical information about the truck along with your standard equipment right below that, and then you've got your optional equipment. Obviously, this Bighorn does not have a ton of extra options, but it does have a decent amount. Then underneath that, you've got your pricing. Now, this is in Canadian dollars minus any dealer discounts or manufacturing discounts if they are being offered. Now, coming into the rear of the Laramie, like I was mentioning on the Bighorn, it's pretty much exactly like the Bighorn trim. However, there are two differences on the Laramie because if you take a look up by your door handle, you also have this cloth trim just like the Bighorn. However, the texture between the two and the look is completely different. And same thing with the black interior accent piece. Because this truck has the sports appearance package, that's going to give you black interior accent pieces. And even the styling of that accent piece is different compared to the Bighorn trim. When it comes to the Laramie interior, this is where you can really see the huge difference compared to the Bighorn trim. Not only do you have full leather interior that you cannot get on the Bighorn, but if you look on the seats, you've also got bits and pieces of cloth. And because this truck has the Laramie Level B equipment group, not only are your rear seats just going to be regular seats, but they're going to be reclining seats. And also this package will give you second row heated seats. But also what the Laramie has that the Bighorn doesn't, if you fold down the center handrest at the back, not only are you going to have two cup holders, but you can open up that center section for additional storage. The Laramie 
also has standard rear and floor storage bins. Behind the driver and passenger seat, they're fully leather back seats and they also have matte pockets. Even the rear center console area will be similar to the Bighorn if you got the bucket seats. The only difference is the black interior accent piece is a little bit different while everything else remains the same. You've got cup holders up above, storage underneath, USB ports, rear heated seat buttons, and your 115 volt plug. Heading to the front of the Laramie, it's exactly like the rear. Let's say you didn't get the Laramie Level B Equipment Group. Standard with the Laramies, you're gonna get the 9 Alpine speakers with the subwoofer, where on the Bighorn, it's just the standard 6 speakers. But this truck, because it has the Laramie Level B Equipment Group, that is gonna upgrade you to the 19 speaker Harman Kardon sound system. Now, as for the front seats, typically with the Laramie Standard, you'll get the bench seating, so you're not gonna have the center console. Instead, you'll just have an extra seat. But because this Laramie has the sports appearance package, that is gonna upgrade you to the bucket seats, which you're looking at. And the Laramie does come with front heated and ventilated seats. And here's a good thing when it comes to the Laramies compared to the Bighorns, because if you look on the front seats, you're gonna have the Laramie lettering stitched right into them. Speaking of seats, with the Laramie, both of the front seats will be power adjustable, which is standard. Also with the Laramie standard, you're gonna get your power adjustable pedals, but with the Laramie, these will be with memory. And like I mentioned with the Bighorns, this is not standard. Another standard thing that the Laramies have is that they do come with driver memory seating. The Laramie also does come standard with a heated steering wheel. Since this Laramie has the sports appearance package, this also gives the truck a wireless charging pad. Now packages do tend to change, so by the time you're watching this video, there could be something that's different. Now, when it comes to the touchscreen, both the Laramie and the Bighorn do come standard with the 8.4 inch touchscreen. However, you do have the option to upgrade it to this 12 inch touchscreen. And this will only be available with the Laramie, whereas on the Bighorn, you cannot get the 12 inch screen. Coming over to the passenger side, like I mentioned, all the Ram trucks have the exact same setup when it comes to the glove department and your secondary compartment as well. And here is the window sticker for this 2022 Ram 1500 Laramie. You've got your typical information about the truck, followed by your standard equipment that come with it. And then you've got your optional equipment. And as you can see, this Laramie has a ton of optional equipment. You've also got your pricing at the bottom, which is in Canadian dollars minus any dealer discounts or manufacturing discounts if they are being offered. Now, when it comes to the different engine options that you can choose with the Bighorn or the Laramie, both of these trucks are available with the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 fuel saver with MDS, which is going to give you 395 horsepower and 410 foot pound of torque. And depending on how you spec out your truck with this particular Hemi V8, you'll be able to tow a little over 11,600 pounds. Now the option that's only available with the Bighorn, you can get the 3.6 liter V6 with e-torque and this will give you 305 horsepower and 269 foot pound of torque. Also, depending on how you spec out your truck with the V6 engine, you'll be able to tow a little over 7,700 pounds. Now, two options that you can get with the Laramie that are not available with the Bighorn is the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 with MDS and e-torque. This will give you 395 horsepower and 410 foot pound of torque. Also, depending on how you spec out the truck with this MDS and e-torque, you'll be able to tow a little over 12,700 pounds. And the other option that you can only get with the Laramie is the 3 liter V6 turbocharged diesel engine, which is going to give you 260 horsepower and 480 foot pound of torque. Just like the rest, depending on how you spec out your truck with the diesel engine, you'll be able to tow a little over 12,500 pounds. Well, that does it for the comparison between the 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn versus the 2022 Ram 1500 Laramie. Let me know in the comments down below which trim you would choose. And also, do you love these trucks or do you hate them?